Long before the pyramids rose in Egypt or stone circles appeared in Europe, the heart of Africa pulsed with innovation and mystery. In the sweeping grasslands and rocky outcrops of what is now southern Africa, the ancestors of the San people observed the world with keen eyes. Among the most remarkable of their discoveries was the unique partnership between humans and a small, clever bird, the greater honey guide. This bird, drab in appearance but brilliant in behavior, would chirp and flit from tree to tree, guiding the sand hunters through the wilderness to hidden beehives brimming with honey. The sand people, expert trackers and artists, recognized the value of this feathered alley. Through careful observation, they learned to interpret the honey guide's calls and movements, following the bird deep into the thorny bush. When the sand found a hive, they would smoke out the bees and harvest the sweet treasure within, always leaving some honeycomb for the bird as a reward. This silent agreement, forged over thousands of years, became an essential part of the sand's survival and culture. What makes this story even more extraordinary is that the sand recorded these events in their rock art, some of the earliest known depictions of human-animal cooperation. In ochre and white, the images tell of black-skinned hunters, their bows at their sides, following the little bird across the ancient belt. These paintings are more than just pictures, they are a testament to the ingenuity and respect the sand people held for the natural world, long before written history began. This ancient alliance between the sand and the honey guide is one of Africa's oldest known examples of mutualism between humans and wild animals. It reveals not only the deep knowledge early Africans had of their environment but also their ability to form lasting relationships with the creatures around them. While empires and civilizations would rise and fall elsewhere, the sand and their honey guide partners proved that wisdom and cooperation could be found in the simplest acts, echoing through the ages on the walls of forgotten caves, 